Hello, so today's video is going to be about the irrigation system, a little bit of a land tour, and also we've got a lovely little piece of land to show you. So stay tuned, but first I'm just going to wander up and see whether the water is pumping up into our tanks. So here you can see the flow of water coming up around about 100 metres from down our well down there and about 30 metres head on it and it's able to push, a 12 volt pump is able to push the water up to these tanks and it takes about 8 to 10 hours to fill these two tanks up but that is absolutely fine. Right, let's carry on. So you can see the tanks just in where I'm pointing to there. They come, the water comes down and splits here in our apple tree. One way down to the base level and the hut, our cabin, and this way down to the blueberry levels on the right hand side. So here we have our two rows of blueberries here. Each row has a pipe that supplies it with water with, that irrigates them and each pipe has one of these timers that allows us to really carefully control the amount of water that goes to them. And they're really great little timers. They weren't too expensive, about 15, 20 quid from Leroy Merlin and other shops will sell them as well. So yeah, really handy little things. Hard wearing, batteries last forever. So we have the same on this blueberry row here. There's a timer to control the water coming to these blueberries. On this side, where the pipe splits, round about here, we're gonna be putting a water tank that will filtrate water for our kitchen that we're gonna build. That'll be an interesting video. We'll explain how we're gonna make a filtration system using very cheap materials and storage for our drinking and water for the shower area and the kitchen. Here's our shower tray and we found these tiles beside a bin. So they're gonna be tiling our bathroom. Here I've been making the roof struts for the frame of our shower room and storage and shed area here. So that's what we're making in here. And these were recycled, bought these second hand, these poles quite cheaply. Was building this about a year ago and then broke my ankle and all work stopped for a while, but it's back on track again. So keep tuned and you'll see us building that. Lots of projects should be on the way again for the rest of this over the next year and exciting things to come. This door we found in the Algarve when we were traveling around there in the bins again. These deck chairs again a bin find. And these sinks were both coming. They were salvaged from a college I worked at. They were gonna go into a skip, so I took them and out. You can see the pipe that pumps the water up. And this area was absolutely full of brambles. I wish I'd filmed it before I cleared it. And it's really made a lot of difference. Now we can see in there. And we've got lots of oak trees coming up there. So we can thin those oak trees out. 
use them as a this area was a resource absolutely full of brambles they were going into these oak trees into the olive tree into the cherry tree and they were being very invasive so i got in here chopped them all out and found that there's quite a few oak trees coming up here which is brilliant so we'll thin some of these out and we'll use some of the oak trees and start coppicing and pollarding them so we can use the material and this olive tree is looking really good now I've taken the brambles out of it and look how many olives are coming on fabulous but it does need a bit of a prune and tidy up next year So we'll have a quick break now and we'll have a look at this land. This land could be irrigated well. I've seen uh, plenty of springs and water mines on this property. So irrigation could be quite easy. Also, you're right near the river. So here's the land. So here we are at our piece of land we want to show you. Now, if you've, you've been watching our channel, you might have seen this property before. It's in a place called Canvas. Uh, right on the river beach and right near the cafe that's behind me and the river beach just there. So if that floats your boat, then this might be the property for you. It's on various terraces, has some water mines. So this is really cool. There's a water mine here. So there's another one near the entrance, but there's another one here. Uh, it's, I can hear the trickle. Maybe you can hear it too. So it's flowing out of here and I'm actually getting wet feet. You can see it running down here. So I'm not going to walk across here because my feet will get soaked. So I'm going to go down to the next terrace down, but this terrace carries on for quite some way. And lined with these lovely grapevines which are really old and really mature and obviously get loads of water and yeah whether this runs all all year i'm not sure obviously get in touch with the owners uh, the phone the phone number and phone on the shelf uh, and find out more information about it it's very near the uh, cafe for the river beach the river beach is just down there and at the moment, there's the Mercado de Schist, so there's a big party and market happening. And this happens every month, once a month, between May and September, maybe October. So every month there's a party, so you can either be here for then, or if you don't like the party, leave for then. And yeah, so that's a potential bonus if you like a party. They're great, great atmospheres, lovely parties, great markets. So we've just come down now for the lower terrace and it has, it's very damp at the moment, but it has some olive trees that are in flower, which is really nice. And these could be, they're really old. My God, look at the size of, I've got to show you this, look. The size of that stump, that is an ancient tree that's been chopped back and look, it's just growing back and it's in massive production. But amazing resilience of these trees. So there's quite a few olive trees along here. Like I say, ancient, but have been and could be brought back into really good production. Here's a fig tree. We've got a lovely wall. That is a fabulous wall along the end, along this side 
with grapevines at the top, grapevines coming out of the bottom. And despite being really near a river beach, uh, which could be really busy in the summer, the river beach is just there, actually you could make some nice secluded areas in here uh, to escape from the busyness of the summer when it, the summer season's on. The rest of the time it's probably going to be quite quiet down here. And it goes on and on and I'll show you that bit a bit later. So, and it goes on and on. So I said I'd come back when it's nice and sunny to show you this and I'm just going to walk down here to show you this terrace. Now, you can obviously watch our videos from last year. We do not know anything about this property. Last year when we inquired, they were still working out. It only just come on the market and they were still working out how much they wanted to charge for it. So get in touch with them. The phone number is in this video, so you'll have to make your own inquiries, I'm afraid. Um, it's an absolutely beautiful bit of land. <laughs> So continuing the theme of reusing things that would find themselves usually in a tip is these sails. We got hold of these in the UK and we brought them back with us. There's this one and there's this one and they are game changers. They are fabulous. Absolutely amazing shade. They look really cool as well and yeah we're pleased with those. So we're testing out those and we're going to start making this area into a, a nice dining area. And here we come across to our cabin and our cabin is going to have a kitchen here. So that's another project that we'll be building. Hopefully we'll get that done before the solstice because we quite like a solstice party with the kitchen done. Anyway, watch out for our videos there. The cabin itself is going to be modified. It needs new roof beams. Some of the oak will do that. And again, another find at the bins was these windows. So these windows are going to be put into the top here, raise the roof, put the windows in, and then this will become a workshop really. And there'll be light in there because it's very dark at the moment. And if you know of where to get some of this tin, perfectly uh, patinaed with rust, that would be fabulous because we'd like to have a roof along here with the same sort of material. The water comes down this side of the kinter, the land, and it splits again here. And this one I have, I've unconnected this, put a tap on it because I don't use that level at the moment, but I could reconnect it if I want to. Here, this one comes along. Got another tap on it there so I can control 
So here's the shed I built out of various recycled, repurposed, reused materials. I think these boards came from, I've had them for, God, probably best part of 10 years. Been knocking around, brought them over from the UK. And this, if you see in another video, this roof is probably about 35 years old or something like that. Again, from the UK, recycle, reuse, repurpose is the mantra of this place. Anyway, this stuff wasn't repurposed, reused. This was all bought new. So have a MPPT charge controller that is now taking the solar power, doing all sorts of clever gadgets to it. So it goes down to the battery, which is an AGM 230 amp hour battery. And that does that very nicely. It's about, this battery is about six years old, seven, six or seven years old, still in top nick. And if we want to go away, which we do a lot and have homestead but will travel, we do need to irrigate sometimes when we're not here. So we bought some of these timers from 12 Volt Planet, sell them over other places will sell them as well. And they're great little timers, really, really adjustable. You can set them for minutes, days, few weeks ahead, every week. It, they're really, really good little controllers. I'm going to turn it off now, actually. There we go. I just had it on manual today. And I'll turn the isolating switch off. And so that means we can pump up, as you saw, we can pump the water up to the top and then it's stored and it can be released whenever the, the other timers, the irrigation timers, allow. So whenever we set them to allow. The other thing we've got in here is an inverter. 2.5k inverter, it's good enough to do most power tools and you know a few most things like that, which is useful. And that runs everything we need. And yes, um, there is a little compost toilet here as well. It's run by this solar panel, and this does all the power for, for us. So on this level, this timer releases the water, and again it's really really versatile really well uh, really good timer it can do you know you can set it to release the water whenever you want and yeah it's really good actually and I'm gonna turn it on you can hear that's on manual at the moment and that's just releasing the water and you can see we have irrigation one irrigation pipe goes around this bed and this bed. Drip feeds mostly. Had it on earlier and it works very nicely. It was great actually, I tried, I had this one on, this one on. Needs a little bit of tweaking, you can see here. I turn that one on. There's plenty of pressure. So you might think, why am I pumping the water right up to the top when these things are here? Well, it's because of the pressure. I can run all of these using that pressure. I can run all of these irrigation pipes. And yeah, I need to do a little bit of tweaking. It's almost too much pressure at the moment, which is fabulous. So that's that's why I do it. Then here we have another irrigation pipe that goes down to the strawberries and around the strawberries as well. And finally we have irrigation in the greenhouse. And 
it's fabulous actually because we can have all of these on at the same time and there's enough pressure to push the water through all of these beds without having to add in more timers. And the last thing I need to connect up is a few more pipes. <laughs> Again, while I was in uh, Cambridge it was, by the bins in the Cambridge, I found this. Really good quality irrigation pipe with nice little brass nozzles. I suppose they're quite rich in Cambridge so they didn't need to, they thought they could just throw it away. But yeah, it's, so this will be connected up and it will supply water to our nursery orchard down here. Well, so a little bit of tweaking to do, as you can see. It's not quite where, water's not quite going where I want it to at the moment, but that's okay because it's just a little bit of tweaking and that'll be good. 